So, my winch cable broke. It's a poly cable. Uh, it's like a 3,500 pound winch. And a uh, few people have asked me how you can put a new end on it. And what will happen is, when you're running the plow a lot, and this is going in and out of the fair lead, it rubs a hole in it. Just like that. And uh, I'm using a poly fair lead, but it happens. So what we're going to do is put a new end on the winch tonight. And uh, it's pretty simple. All you're going to do basically is run back through here like this. And what you're going to do is take and put a tip on this with some electrical tape so it's a little bit pointy. And we're going to actually just kind of go like that. See how that opens up? We're going to tuck it down through here and go through one side and out the other. Crisscross it about three, four times. And... Uh, can't tell it's really cold out here. It's about uh, now about negative ten right now, and uh, so you crisscross it a few times. Last one you're going to stop halfway through, coming back through, and tuck it down the middle, and uh, should be nice and tight on there. And we'll go ahead and do it and shut up and show you how. Here we go. Okay, so had to wrestle with the tape. It's a little cold. It's trying to break on me, but that's okay. Electrical tape, duct tape, um, pretty much anything pliable. You really don't want to use scotch tape or something like that. But um, we're going to go ahead and wrap the end around here. And you might want to start kind of low. And uh, work your way back up here. This might be a little tricky because it's cold. But what you're really trying to do is put a point on the end. So you want to go out until it starts coming back on itself. And get a nice sharp point and break that because what you want to do is sew this back through okay better went dead that's why the last one cut so quick but I'm back so here's where we're at um, went ahead and straightened this pin out so I can take it out it's uh it's seen better days but there's still some life left in it so we're gonna go ahead and use it but pull the pin out Come out of here. We'll drop it. And this guy is what you want to actually put the cable around. So this is going to sit in here and basically be like that again. So that gives it some strength when it goes through. So you want to start pretty low. It's okay to have a little extra here, but you want to start pretty low because you want this to be pretty tight around here, as tight as you can, really. Um, so go ahead and you know, eyeball it, set that aside, and we know we want to start right here. So I'm going to loosen this up and find a spot right here in the middle and just pick it right on through there. It's going to be a little tricky, especially on a used one. And you can see that just went right through there, like that. And that's when you want to tighten this in. So tighten that up. Just like that. And we'll go back through two or three more times. This is really a good way to keep using a perfectly good cable like this. What you'll find is your tape's going to get a little bit mangled as you do this, so it's going to kind of give you a hard time. It's okay. Let's take your time. It hurts to have something to help you a little bit. Cut a little bit of this tape off. At this point, it's more that's helping me. There we go. And I just pulled it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape back on here and be back with you in a second. Okay, I'm gonna get some more tape on here. And it just basically slid off. That happens. Can't get mad at it. Just gotta take your time. Okay. 
This is going to get caught on every last little string you try and go past here. I'm just going to stick with it, kind of work it through there. Oh, there's another one. You can see now it just kind of crisscrosses through there. And uh, do one more for good measure here. Try and open up the hole a little bit before we start. I'm going to sit this down before I cut myself. How's that sound? A little smoother. There we go. So basically, now when this pulls on this, it's transferring that tugging all the way back through here. And you can see that's not going anywhere. So, what I'm going to do now is take this and tuck it down into the rest of this weave inside, and that's going to give us a nice finished end. It's not a problem, and that goes inside of the fairline. The other thing you can do too is tape these at the end. And actually, what I'm going to do, even with this on the inside of here. I'm going to tape it down, and that's what you saw in the last one, was just to make sure there's something moving behind me. Is it a mouse or just some snow falling off or what? There we go. So that's stuck down inside of there. Now I'm going to wrap the rest of this in a little bit of tape. Actually, a lot of bit of tape. Tape is about as cold as my fingers are, so I'm not playing along like you could, but that's okay. I'll just start here. And I know I use electrical tape, it might not be the best product to use on it, but the last one gave me about a year and a half. It's called two years of service, and I'm good with that. If I have to do this every year and a half, two years, I'm pretty happy. Put a nice wrap on there. I usually go around about two, three times. Perfect. There we go. We got a new end. So, goes back together. Same way it came apart. I'm going to stick this back in here. Put your pin back through. Take this mangled old pin here, stick it back in there, and find her back out where she's supposed to be, and that's it. One thing you'll find with these pins is sometimes it's easier to have two different players working both ends of them. And, uh, Definitely could cut yourself on these, so just be careful when you're working on. Put that one back too.
Normally I get a heater cranked in here, but I turn it off for the video, so I'm going to put that back on here real quick. Okay, there we go. So, that's back on nice and sturdy. This is the grab in case you're in the mud. makes it easier to find, but for the sake of plowing with it, this is on the front. You'll notice I also tied it around the front of the quad here and make sure you do it in a spot where you can take it back off without having it get stuck. I use the front of the rack. there and that's it something else to keep in mind if you've got a stopper make sure you put this baby on before you start your work and that'll go right through there and that's going to keep that from getting over stressed when it hits the front I'm good to go take a look at see how she winds back up I'm gonna hook it back up to the front of the plow now So we're going to grab this, hook it back to the front of the plow. The plow's a mess right now, but I did. Go ahead and open that up and uh, bring this cable in a little bit. back in business. Nice fit, just like it should be. And uh, good to go. When this goes all the way up, this, as you can see, it's actually kind of coming apart because it's been hit so many times, but this will go up and sit against there and keep this from over tightening. So as this pressurizes, you'll hear the winch go under load and it keeps this from getting torn up when it pulls against that. So that way you can pull it, but not too hard. So that's it. Put a new end on the winch. And uh, she's ready to plow again. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Be my friend. Thanks.